welcome to lesson six, where you're going to learn a little bit more about using titles and also how to animate them easily using presets in Adobe Bridge. First, open up After Effects, and when it opens, we'll get rid of the welcome screen and go to File, Save As. Now go direct yourself to your After Effects folder. And we haven't made a folder for Lesson 6 yet, so let's right-click in a clean area and go New, Folder. Call it Lesson 6. And go inside of that folder and title the project Lesson 6. Okay, save that. So to make a title, uh, we need a composition first to work from. We could hit the Comp button or go to Composition, New Comp. We'll call this just Comp 1. For the settings, make sure it's set to the last HDTV at 2997 frames. And that's pretty much it. The time. Titles usually don't run for more than 5 to 7 seconds. Usually. So if you don't have 7 seconds, make sure you put 7 seconds in there. And that's 7 seconds and no frames. Hit OK. We'll leave the black background. Now you can turn on your transparency grid or off. Let's, uh, for us, let's leave it on. And hit the T in the toolbar to type a title in. And let's just type Denver South. Now mine was centered, justified, so it kind of moved that way, so I need to reposition it. And remember, basic positioning things, you can change the size, height, and stretch of the words, but notice uh, for a item later, the spacing doesn't stretch, just the words do, and they get bigger. Um, the anchor point down here can be moved so that when you try to scale it, if I hit S for scale, right now it's coming and going from the bottom of the R. If I use the pan behind tool, I can grab the anchor point and move it up maybe to the center of the R so that when I scale it, now it's going to scale from the center of the R. So there's some adjustments you can make. Back to the mouse pointer. As far as the character palette and the paragraph palette, there are many things that you can do that are useful to you. You can make your palette a little bit bigger so you can see everything. Okay. Um, in paragraph, we saw this before, left, center, and right, justified, for which side the anchor point ends up on. And you can add spacing before and after paragraphs, but in, in After Effects, paragraph text are not usually made. So let's go to character. You can change the font. You can look around for uh, bold and italics here. If you click in the font box, you can use your arrow key to simply scroll through fonts to find what you're looking for. I'll leave it there. And you can also add a uh, stroke or change the color. If you click on the actual color box, you can adjust your color. If you click on the stroke twice, you can bring up the stroke color. Let's make it white. So now I have a stroke on there. That's controlled the thickness of the stroke by the number of line pixels. If you make it go smaller or higher, you can kind of get a look you're desiring. You can also change the type of fill over stroke or stroke over fill as to what's on top. I think I like fill over stroke. You can change the font size here, but we saw that you can already do that with the handles. You can also change the spacing between the letters, not just make it spread, but you know, spread out between the letters. You can also change the height, which you can do manually, where it is on the anchor point. So that's main controls for the titling to get a look that you're after. You can also add uh, a fake bold, italics, all caps, it can be small caps, which is a large cap with smaller large caps next to it. You can also do superscript, which would be like something to the power of. Or you can do subscript, like H2O. The two would be lower. So all useful things. All right, so let's take our title and let's do something to it at this point. I'm going to make sure that we're in fit mode so it looks like the screen size that we would see. So I can see my title is pretty small at the moment. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. All right, so let's go ahead and learn how to add very quick, pre-animated, pre-keyframed effects. Select your 
Denver South, go to Animation, Browse Presets. Once you've browsed the preset button, it'll pop up another program called Adobe Bridge with a lot of subfolders that are all pertaining to um, different things you can do that are preset. We're going to go to Text. Once you're in text, you'll see there's quite a few categories that you can uh, see different types of cool animated effects. Uh, let's start with Animate In. To animate a title in, there's also an Animate Out to animate a title out of the screen. So you could use this at the beginning um, and have a title come in. And then you could still add a second one, an out, to make it go out. So let's go to Animate In. There are different uh, presets. Don't double click here. Click one time and give the preview window a second to load it so you can see what the effect might look like. And you can single click on many of these to get an idea. Let's use Smooth. Now before we apply it, go back down and switch over to After Effects. Wherever your current time indicator is, is where the effect will be applied. So if I leave it at 3 seconds, then it will apply at the 3 second mark. So let's make sure we're at home. Go back to Bridge, and let's double click on Smooth, which will automatically apply it. Your title disappears, that's only because it's going to animate in now. Take your current time indicator and drag, and you can see what you have. Now this effect has been added into the title, so if I open up the triangle, I can see that there is uh, text and transform. Transform is normal, all the things you saw in Premiere as well. In text, there's some categories of things that you can do to a title and change this up a little bit if you want to. It takes some time to get used to uh, working inside of these various controllers because you might not know with what a lot of these do. But if you play with them, you can get a quick feel for it. I just added a keyframe, so I'm going to delete that keyframe. Um, another thing that's useful to know is when you're inside of an effect, you might see these little dots. and These are actually keyframes that are hidden because the triangles are closed. If you simply touch the title and hit the U key once on your keyboard, it'll open up every single control section where there's a keyframe, so you can actually adjust the keyframes. Now you might not want to change the effect, but you might want to play with its duration. Right now it takes two seconds to arrive. You could highlight all of these final keyframes and spread them out to three, and now it takes three seconds for everything to happen. So keyframes can be moved and adjusted a little bit. So this first one does this. I'm going to take these keyframes back to the two second mark. You should do the same. All right, so remember you're trying to make the same title I'm making for a grade check, so stick with what I'm doing here and try to copy it. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add another effect, but this time we're going to make the title um, disappear towards the end of it of being here. So a two second intro, it's here for say three seconds, and right around the five second mark I'm going to go back to bridge and go back on the back button to go to animate out. Using animate out we can have the uh, various title characters leave in a certain way. Let's go ahead and use slide off by right, double click. Whoops, I had forgotten to select the title first. This happens if you don't select your title, you'll add new text for the, the effect to be applied to. Delete, touch the title, I'm going to go back, slide off to the right, double click. All right, so now all the letters are going to slide off to the right here at the end. Now it ran out of time because it, it was more than a two second effect. So if you need to change your comp, for example, comp settings, you can go ahead and let's add a couple seconds, bring it to 9, and then I can hit OK and zoom out and add the rest of the text in so that it has time for everything to occur. Now they don't necessarily end in the right space, so I may have to play with some of the keyframes to move them over. Remember, hit the U key, and we can make some adjustments if we felt like it. But that just gives you an idea that you can go in and out with titles. All right, so that's pretty cool. So let's do this. Let's make another composition. Hit the Comp button, Comp 2. Make sure again that it's the right setting. And we have a nine second comp. We'll hit OK. And we'll add another title. It can be anything you want. I'm just going to do Denver South again. I'm going to take and make the title a little larger and center it in the screen. 
Centering doesn't have to happen, but symmetry, uh, balance on both sides is uh, nice to see in various videos and art. You want to keep things balanced, but you could have the title over in the corner, up top, you know, wherever you want. We're going to go back to bridge. I'm going to make sure my, I'm at the home. And let's back up, and um, I want you to check out some of these other folders. Now, between 3D text, which the titles would do something in 3D, and if you click once to see these, you'll be amazed at the amount of preset, really cool, that's nice, really cool different ideas you have that you could use to make something look pretty sharp. So you could do that, go back. I want you to go through these folders and take a look at each of the various effects. It only takes a second or two per effect to see what it looks like. And I want you to find some of your, uh, your favorites. And you have to create five more titles using these different effects to show me five different effects that you like. I'm going to choose Evaporate on this one. And it adds the Evaporate. But you're going to notice it evaporates out. So this might be a good ending for the title, which I means I can move all the keyframes down. You highlight them, slide it to the end. And now I've got an evaporate out. Or bring it back and switch the keyframes. You can move one keyframe here and this one here. But there's an easier way so you don't mess up the timing. You can highlight both of them and right click. Go to keyframe assistant and you can time reverse the keyframes meaning now it's going to be going opposite of what it just was. It'll evaporate in. And that's pretty sharp for a, a great title intro. Um, some other things to consider when you highlight the keyframes is that you can right click. You can add the easy ease, easy in and easy out, which is basically for having um, a smoother stop instead of a rugged stop. I'll try easy ease, and it will smooth out the effect a little but you don't really have to do that with titles keyframe assistants are usually better with trying to adjust the speed of an item you're moving in or out with your own controls over here for transform alright so that's the second one and you see that you can reverse keyframes so now add four more of your favorite that you see in the various folders from bridge of course first you're gonna have to create a new composition and then you'll have a new comp and then you can go ahead and type in the words and then go through the bridge and take a look at all the variations of cool effects or animations that you might see to add. You, you can make more than four if you'd like, but four is the minimum requirement. As you can see, as you go through these folders, there's an amazing number and style of cool titles. This one would be nice. You could change the colors if you want. So that's pretty much the end of my lesson. I want you to take some time and create four more compositions. When you're done, you should have six compositions in all. And then don't forget to save your work. All right, have fun.